Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> this is a special holiday episode of The Joy of Building. I figured, since many of you will probably spend a little time over the holiday break building and playing on Minecraft, that I should give you some ideas on some fun things that you could add to spice up and spruce up your builds. So, sit back, take some notes, and put them to good use. We'll switch over here to first person, and I'll show you what I've been building. So we'll just come on up here. So you can see, I've kind of made myself a little start to a nice castle. Figure it looks kind of nice. And then, of course, my special checkerboard here with just stacks of the uh, different layers of snow. This is one, and then this is two. And then the trees. <clears throat> As you can see, we got some trees here, and all I did was I took some existing trees, mega spruce and pines and such, and I went through and I changed out their leaves and their trunks for different things. These here, of course, are bone and warped blocks. These are even fun because they're just powdered snow and a stripped warped stem. This one of course stripped warped stem and warped, warped blocks. Come up the stairs here. You like how I did those stairs? You could do stairs like that. That's just two snow and then that's I think five and then that's six. So it's a nice easy staircase up. As you can see, we've got acacia wood with the warped stems. And then over here, <laughs> do you see? <laughs> good old, good old powdered snow. These are fun though. These I wanted to make kind of candy cane-ish, and so I used concrete. You can use any color of concrete, just something that makes it look nice. Could have swapped it out for the uh, cyan concrete if I wanted. But I thought the blue would look nice. And of course you can make your own little candy canes of different colors. And then of course we've got our own little house here. You can see I've got some supports there. I've got the roof. Got a nice little chimney with a smokestack there. And I even have a little bit of a bed in here. As you can see I've not furnished it fully. But you got a uh, fire going here in the fireplace. You'd probably put uh, slabs there if you wanted. And then of course we've got a nice little loft here where you've got a nice little bed. Won't that be nice? But you'll see I did the roof with stacks of stair planks, stair planks. Gives it a nice delayed rise so that it's not the nice smooth V, but it's more of an A. Gives you a little more room, makes it a little more Nordic in its feel. What do you think? I kind of like it. Carried that over here, and as you can see, we've got acacia and, warp, and regular wart blocks. Strip cherry and the wart blocks. Then over here, changing up, we got bone and the cherry blossoms. And as you can see here, I went ahead and used the mangrove with the powdered snow. And you can see I was starting to do this one, and I may get to it yet. But when you make these big trees, you can also do fun stuff like this and have it widen out with some snaggly roots like you see right there. Isn't that neat? Take a look. I find it interesting. I find it visually appealing. 
And then over here, lastly, we've got the crimson stems with the cherry leaves. <clears throat> and then, of course, candy canes. And a nice candy stripe road. And why do you think I've done that? Well, well, you gotta ask yourself, why did I do that? And I'll tell you why. I'm gonna build a little chalet here, a little Christmassy villagey kind of chalet. So, hope you can enjoy the quick build with me and we'll come back as I finish her up. We're gonna keep this building creative and that's okay, but let's switch it in the first person view, <laughs> not over the shoulder. And we'll come over here and we'll take our first set, which I'm going to do that for base. And I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to do these for the upper story. We're going to set it back from the road a little bit. Got to have a front garden. Always looks nicer when you do that. Bring this up here. We'll make it a nice good three wide inside because that works out well but what we're going to do is not leave it that way we're going to go ahead we're going to extend it make it a nice l shape make it a little different this will be our our fireplace over here and if you wanted to open it up on the back you sure could have your exit to the back of the house but as you can see i'm at three by three and now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly throw it up these uh, upper levels on and uh, we'll discuss what's next All right, that finishes the first level, but of course, you know, we didn't put in windows, and that's okay, because we can decide where we want them when we're done. It's a tough call, but I think we'll have one there, and one there, and then of course there, and oh, it's tough, it's tough. I think I'm going to go for a double wide there, just to look out on the street. Now, that covers that main level, but the thing is we're gonna do the slope roof right of course right so let's get that laid in because we need to know where we're gonna have to build the walls a little bit higher so let's grab that and go i think we're gonna go with the white for this roof we'll go with these slab Upside down stairs. And I'm turning it so that we can have kind of a dormer view on our windows here. Let's climb up and go up to the next level. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. That's the joy of building, right? Of course, right. Can you see where we need to build up already? I do. We built that level up right there. This will be a toughie. See how we fixed it though? Nice and easy. That'll be built up another level. <laughs> See, you don't have to be in creative mode to play with this. And that's okay. 
looking at this, we're going to probably need to just revisit our plans here, and that's okay. We'll have a wider window. That'll be nice. Now at this point, you could take it another round higher, or you can slope it off gently like, which is what I prefer to do. And in fact, if you really wanted to take it a little more gently, which you can absolutely do, it's your build, you do what you want. Make it look the way you want it to look. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a more gentle roof ease it off right here at the top and that way it's a nice gentle curve a little lower to the ground a little more well equipped to deal with the blustery snow here in the cold north right so we've done that now let's do our next level see things get a little a little weird here because only the one wide and that's is okay what we can do and what I'm thinking of doing I think you'll agree is we'll go ahead and we'll put this here but then we'll just go ahead and pop it in straight across we'll leave that open for our chimney to come through just like we did over there and there we've got it now we can fill in the rest of our walls because we know where things are going to be. And I like to do stuff a little special for right over the uh, windows. Just how I like it. And since we're in the frigid north, I think I'm going to do full panes of glass. Simulate that two pane effect. Let's see, and we'll find us a nice, you know what, let's go with granite. Polished granite, see how that looks. But let's also look at some of our other options. We could do concrete. Let's take a look, let's see which looks good. Go like that. See, I like the natural stone myself, so we're going to do that, but you do it the way you want to do it in your house. Alright, so let's decide, do we want a pink window, or do we want to mix and match? Nothing saying we can't have a candy cane window. Doesn't that look nice? Let's get our floor in. I'm gonna go with a cobbled deep slate here again like the way it looks. We'll bring that up here. Then we'll taper it in. There we go. And that'll make our chimney look taller. There you go. What do you think? I like it. Let's grab our doors. Here we go. But is it a house without some shutters? 
Let's get some shutters on this house. <gasps> you fit them in where you can. That looks good right there, actually. I think we'll go with that. And then, of course, we can put down our path, but let's close those doors. Gotta stop that breeze getting through. <laughs> and let's go ahead and we'll bring in our campfire real quick. And that way we've got some heat going in the place. Make it feel nice and home. Nice and home-like. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I'll go ahead and we'll strip this out. We don't need this here anymore. And then I'll quickly replicate this house across the way in pink. And then I'll be back.
And as you can see, I did just a little bit differently. This one I made nice and wide. It's five wide. This one I did four wide. And it makes for a slightly different floor plan, a slightly different look. Gives a nice little variation. Makes it its own. So that it's not all cookie cutter. But it looks like it's something that grew gradually over the years. Let's add our nice little lantern here at the top and the top. Because we want it to look nice and pretty. And I think, looking at this, do you see what I'm doing here? Just making little changes here and there, making it fit the way I want it to look. But isn't this a lovely start to a nice little Christmas village? I think so. Another chunk of uh, houses like this, you know, five or six. Maybe a little workshop here, a little Santa's castle here across the way. And uh, we've got ourselves quite the nice little, little winter wonderland. Let's put in a couple more of these posts before we call it done. There you go, a nice little Christmas village. Hope this inspires you, gives you some nice interesting ideas for something to build. Making it your own. Because if you're not having fun in Minecraft and having some joy in what you're building, then I think you need to change it up. Do something new. Make sure it's fun. That's the whole point of this. So with that, my friends, I wish you an end to this <laughs> wonderful little short holiday joy of building, and I hope you find lots of joy over the holidays, and we'll pick up again in the new year. Goodbye.